Hey, this is Trader Travis, and in this video, you're about to learn a simple three-part formula that has removed my, as well as hundreds of other traders' dependency from corporate income forever. Now, I know in this day and age how that sounds a little bit too good to be true, but for once, this is one time where I discovered something that wasn't too good to be true. So stick with me. I'll walk you through it, and then I, over time, I'll actually show you examples of people who are actually living this out. And because it allows you to remove your dependency from corporate income, it's essentially like a freedom formula, but we call it the option profit formula because we've applied it to how we trade stock options. Now, before I reveal the formula, I have a quick admin note for you. First, I've sent you an email inviting you to accept a complimentary subscription to the Trading Insight newsletter. So if you enjoy the information in this video and you want more training, all you have to do is go find that email right there and click on it. And within that email is going to be a link. So click on that link. And what you're going to do is we're going to see you more free training to show you how to achieve your income goals through option trading. So if you don't click on this link right here in this email, you'll never hear from us again. So it's important to do that as soon as you finish watching this video. But first, we want you to watch the video because we want you to gauge the quality of our training. We are sure you will enjoy it, um, but we want to make sure that you want to accept more free training. So watch the video and then afterwards, you can click on this uh, free link right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Essentially, what the option profit formula boils down to is you take your income from your job, usually it's from your job, you buy or accumulate assets, and then you take those assets to generate income. And, and in training we have, we'll show you how to do that. But essentially, that's what it boils down to. And I know it's a simple formula, but uh, don't let the simplicity of it um, catch you off guard. Because if you learn and use the techniques that I'm about to show you, what you'll do is avoid the income rut. Now, the income rut is the difference between where you are financially, where you want to be. Now, most people want to get a pay raise at their job and you can go to your boss and ask for a pay raise. But that's kind of hard because you don't control that income. And so what we're going to do is show you how to put more of the power in your hands where it belongs. Another approach people take is they go to get more education, then they get a better job. But often you find yourself just exactly in the same situation you were in before because then you've accumulated school loans. So what we want to do is show you how to learn and use this technique so you can essentially have great opportunities to help your family. As one of our students in our option coaching program put it, they wanted to take a cruise every two years with all their family members. They also wanted to take a one month holiday every year and then a we can get away every three months. And then another student said they wanted a house next to the beach. They wanted their investments creating enough cash flow to support their family without having to work. They wanted to wake up and go run, swim, or kayak along the beachfront, have breakfast at a seaside restaurant, trade for an hour or two just to keep their juices flowing. But ultimately, overwhelmingly, all of my students tell me they just want to spend more time with their family. Now, I highlighted this portion, portion here. Uh, where their investments are creating enough cash flow to support their family without having to work. That's what I want to show you. That's exactly what the option profit formula accomplishes. So what I'm about to show you is a snippet from our options coaching program where I actually revealed this formula to these students and gave them and gave them a brief example of how to use it. And then later on during the program, uh, they learn the step by step uh, process to use this formula. So let me load up that video for you. And then what I'll do is check back in with you after the video is over. All right, I'll see you in a sec. And essentially, the, the purpose of the bonus training is to give you that the second component of the um, option uh, profit formula. And mainly, is what I want to do is, um, it was the biggest aha moment and the biggest relief for me, is to show you how you really don't need a million dollars to retire. You can retire off of less than a million, in my opinion. Now, everybody's always chasing for that elusive uh, million dollar uh, portfolio because you know we, we get all these calculations and just a, a million is just a good I don't know it's just a good easy number to stone around a lot you know people are saving their 401ks and RAs trying to get at least a million or more okay now um, I think that people can do it a lot, a lot less than that and I'll show you why in a second um, well first let me show you what they essentially first um, I'm just here uh, Dave Ramsey's site. I, I like his investing calculator a lot. So let's do a million dollars here. And what they um, usually tell you to do is uh, save up a million dollars. And then they say, okay, you're going to take, first you spend all your life working hard, saving up money. We're just going to use a million. And then you're going to take that million 
they say the stock market is too risky. Some people say, well, leave some in the stock market. Some say, take all your money out and put it in income generating assets, you know, like bonds, CDs, stuff like that, and, you know, get about 5% uh, a year. And so when you get 5% a year on a million dollars, that's interest of about uh, $51,000. So 51,161, so 51,161 uh, divided by 12. So you'll be getting about uh, four grand a month, 4,200, 4,263. Let me write that down. So 4,263. And depending on where you live, you supplement that with Social Security, um, you might be okay. Um, the issue I see from my counseling um, that I've done is um, 70 to 80% of the people aren't even close to a million, won't even reach it at all. Just not realistic. Um, and it's sad. A lot of people actually don't. I think the studies show that most people have less than thirty thousand in their retirement account. And um, and I you know I blame a lot of uh, Wall Street and, and the professionals for that. But anyway, so let's say they you know get three hundred thousand um, dollars, which to me, from my counseling, is more realistic. People might could get three hundred thousand, take that out, put it in bonds or whatever. You know, you get five percent a year. Well, that's fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen three forty-eight. So now let's take uh, fifteen three forty-eight. Uh, divide that by twelve. Now you're looking at about twelve seventy-nine a month. Okay, twelve seventy-nine a month. You're not going to have a, a a pretty comfortable retirement, even if you supplement it with Social Security. You know, a lot of people go on retirement with debt. You know, cars, mortgages, and so taking twelve seventy-nine, adding it to Social Security. Um, you're struggling. Um, you're pretty much just trading water, okay? And so, and that's in my experience that people might at best get 300 grand. The approach I like is the uh, um, approach that um, I was taught um, by my mentors. Um, and I, I see some questions coming in, making sure to see if they apply. Okay, I'll get to these questions in a second because they actually will cover. Um, when we start getting the trades. Okay, so um, the the two approaches you have to investing, you have the net asset value approach uh, versus the income investing approach. The net, SS val net asset value approach is what I just talked about. Okay, you work all your life, you save up a big fat lump sum of money, you take that money out, you put it in bonds or something considerably safe per se, um, and then live off the interest without ever touching the principal. And I put CP here, like for calls and puts, um, meaning that you can use calls and puts to, the money from that to, um, you know, generate or build up your retirement account. Then you have income investing. And there is a this is actually this group of investors is actually growing. Um, if you haven't been following the investment community a lot or, or kept your ear to the ground, I'm, I'm knee deep in the investment community. We have a large group of investors now who are coming over to this camp. It's called the income investing account. They're not waiting until they retire. They're not trying to save up a big lump sum. What they're doing is work. You know, this this approach and that asset value, you're you're going to end up with about twelve seventy nine a month. The income investing camp is saying, why would I wait my whole life to do that? Why don't I work on generating that money now? Why don't I work on that approach now? And so that's the investing income camp. And this is where you can do cover calls or spreads or things like that, and that's what the CCS. Now, the approach I like is the approach that um, my mentors taught me, and that's why I call it the option, the OPF approach, which is the option profit formula approach. You take your income, you buy or you um, acquire assets, then you use those assets to uh, generate income, and that's what the I is for. And he said that the traditional approach that most people take is, they work at a job. They they get they take their income from their job, and they get in debt. You know they spend their money, cable bills, go out to eat, and then they try to tithe and invest on what's left over. And we all know that there's usually not a left left over after that. And so they go along as long as they can afford the monthly payments. They're okay. Okay, they go along. You know, scrimping and saving whatever they can, investing whatever they can, and then. The inevitable happens. Life happens. They get sick. They get laid off. Okay, they get laid off. Well, their income dries up, but the bills keep coming in. 
And so that's when panic sets in. They realize how flawed their approach to life was. They realize that, wow, I need to do something. And from this point, they most likely go back to school to get another degree or they look for another job. Well, he said that, well, use your job. That income from your job is your biggest wealth building asset. Use that income from your job to buy or acquire assets, and that's stocks, real estate, whatever. And then you take those assets to generate income, okay? And then use that income like you did with your job income. You can get in debt, buy cars, whatever you want, because this income you're in control of. The second income you're in control of. And so if you lose your job in step one, you're fine. Why? Because your livelihood is coming from your assets. It's not coming from your job income. And so if you want to make more income, you just turn up the faucet a little bit, acquire more assets or do whatever. You want to make less money, you just turn down the faucet. And so you're not doing anything different than what, well, you're doing the same thing other people are doing, using your income to buy, you know, buy cars, get in debt, whatever you want. It's your money. But you're using it, you're doing it with income that you control, and that's income from an asset. And so that's the approach here. Um, and that's the approach I'm trying to take uh, people down. Now, the income investing approach, and what we're going to learn in the bonus training, is cover calls. That's one thing. Cover calls, um, what I consider um, $100 bill trades, and it's what we use uh, for our emergency fund, and uh, synthetic bond investing. Now, these two I do do up here. This one is more in theory because I'm still testing it out. Um, synthetic just means equivalent of bond investing. Um, most people like the stability of bonds, and so um, I'm still tweaking, um, trying to get the equivalent of uh, the safety of bond investing, but um, getting stock market returns. And now I've been doing it on paper, but some of the options I'm using aren't as liquid as some of these stock options, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, all right, so um, cover calls, okay? The way cover calls work is, let's say, um, let's use Starbucks, okay? Let's say you owned, um, you were invested in Starbucks. Now, you, you can't get afraid of about investing in stocks. One, you, you know options now. And in the training, I'll show you. It's, it's so simple. It's so simple that you'll, you'll be like, gosh, why didn't I think about that? You use options to guarantee you won't lose money. Yes, people, Wall Street professionals will tell you, you can't guarantee you won't lose money. Yeah, you can. Um, you know, you just, you just manage your trades. Um, Anyway, you use options to guarantee you won't lose money. So let's say you invested in Starbucks and you had 100 shares of Starbucks, Starbucks stock, okay? Um, 36 times, right now it's trading at $36. So 100 shares will cost you about $300, $600. Now, a lot of people do like to do covered calls. I do a little bit of twist to a different approach um, because I don't like the traditional way. But the traditional way is um, you would sell options. Instead of buying options, which you're learning right now, you essentially sell options. And so um, if you take, um, just doing some rough calculations, 73 cents uh, or, yeah, we'll do 73 cents, divided by uh, $36 what the stock is trading at. Right now, you could list to 2%. And here's how it works. You just literally, you click sell, come up, hit confirm send. You'll immediately get $73 deposited in your account. $73 is 2% of what Starbucks is trading at right now. So you get 2% right there. These options expire in 31 days. Now what you hope to happen is that, you know, the options expire worthless, you get to keep your $73, okay? So you generate 2% a month um, by doing this, 2 to 5%. Most people can get 2 to 5%, some people higher, okay? 2 to 5% a month. Let's just say it was super conservative, we did 2% a month. That's 24% in a year. Excuse me one second. Let me take a drink of water. Okay, now, using that 2% um, a month, now we're going to change this to 24% a year. Now, let's say you have that same 300 grand. Now, you're making 24% a year, though. Okay, now that takes your money you're earning up to 80000 a year you're making. And this is not unrealistic. It's actually a pretty, it's not as hard to do as you may think. You know, in your brain, it may seem hard, but it's not as hard to do as you think. Okay, so now that's about 6000 a month you'll get just by doing conservative covered calls. Okay, the $100 bill trades, um, 
I'm talking about. These aren't trades you're using to make 24% a year. These aren't trades you're using to get rich. They're literally that, $100 bill trades. Let's say you're walking around and you found money. You know, sometimes we're walking around, we find a dollar on the ground. Sometimes we find $20. Imagine if you walked around every week and every week you found a $100 bill. You know, would you be excited? And I'm thinking like, yeah, I, mean, I don't care how rich I am. You walk around, you find $100 on the ground every single week for the rest of your life. Uh, will you be happy? Absolutely. And so that's what I, uh, I call them $100 bill trades. You're not looking to get rich. You're just looking to earn a little bit more money than your bank. Um, one we made was uh, Goldman Sachs. Well, yeah, Goldman Sachs. I have that pulled up here, and that was on uh, April 15th. April 15th, and this is credit spreads now, and this is not covered calls. Now, of course, I'm not going into the whole definitions of covered calls, credit spreads. Just getting to the end result here, which you're, how you're generating income. Okay, so I use these spreads right here. Credit spreads um, involve um, you buying and selling an option at the same time. Essentially, you get cash in your account just like with covered calls. Um, so I sold this 165.70. What I did was get $16 um, per contract I sold. I sold about uh, 10 contracts. Um, so anyway, I got about $160. However, um, these options expired. If you look here, over here to the left, these are weekly options. Uh, they expire actually um, Thursday. They will expire Thursday. And actually, they're already pretty much worthless now. Um, and so I made $160 in a week. And so if um, I can take that $160, multiply by four, you do this each week, that's $640 a month, okay? Not to get rich, nothing to retire off of. Um, but it is a lot more than what my bank is, bank is paying, okay? Um, and I didn't have to use any of my own money per se. Um, your broker were, will hold some of your money as margin, you know, just in case um, the trade goes against you. Um, but it's not like I have to uh, put out any money um, to make that money. Okay. Um, and then the synthetic bond investing I won't get into. But that's essentially um, a brief summary of what the training is. Just showing you the other side of the option profit formula, what you use to generate income. And showing you that, yeah, you really don't need the million. Um, even if you had a uh, hundred grand, which I tell people, um, in one of the uh, videos I did a long time ago, I showed people, okay, you take a hundred grand and you make uh, five percent a month, which again sounds harder than it really is, but using options, you know, you can do it. Maybe not every month. Some months might be better than others, but overall, I think you can do it if you put in the effort. That's sixty percent a year, okay, and. Actually, let me get rid of one of these zeros. Okay, so, uh, and today I can't add. Okay, 100 grand, 60 percent a year. Okay, now your interest is up to 79,585. And so that's roughly five, six grand a month. So again, you don't need the million. If you had $100,000 right now, again, this is your asset. Like I just talked about the option profit formula. That's your asset, that 100 grand. You're using that 100 grand. To generate income, and if you generate it about five percent a month, um, that will give you about seventy-nine grand a year. Okay, depending on where you live, and if you're out of debt and stuff, um, I think most people can comfortably live off five or six grand a month. Okay, um, and that didn't take a million dollars; it just took some education, some experience, and some effort. Okay, great. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope it was a breath of fresh air for you. I know it was for me when I discovered that formula. Now, this is for people who are um, working up to his retirement. It, it gives you a breath of fresh air because you realize, wow, I don't have to stress so much that I haven't quite saved enough for retirement. Even those who are either retired or close to it, you feel like you got a late start, even then don't get discouraged because you have options now. You have a new tool. Okay, You can use that tool aggressively or you, you can use it conservatively. Um, but that's the power of education, the power of having this education and know about options because it gives you more options. So even if you are already retired or on a fixed income, you now have more options than you did before. So it's still something to be positive about even if um, you know time is not on your side. Okay. So once you learn everything you can about options, you can structure 
um, uh, an investing plan that actually works for your particular situation. So um, that's the power of options education, and I'm glad you have uh, started this journey to learn about it because it is truly life-changing. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will be in touch with you soon.